I have a theory. I think that out of all of the Hogwarts houses, Slytherins would be the most interested in skincare. And that is because, first of all, we understand that in order to be helpful and supportive to others, we first have to support ourselves. And since having a good public image tends to be something important to Slytherins, skincare allows us to put our best face forward. So. I thought it would be fun to put together a skincare routine fit for a Slytherin. So I'm going to be starting with the Garnier Micellar Water. This one is particularly for oily and or sensitive skin. So the first thing to know about Slytherins is that we as a whole tend to care quite a lot about our image and just how we present ourselves to the world and not necessarily like in a superficial way but we just really care like about making a good impression on other people our skin is nice and clean now now what self-care routine would be complete without a face mask so i have got ooh, we've got kind of like phoebe buffet vibes going on here um i have got three different ones from tony moly they are the rice face mask, the tea tree oil, and the lavender. And I think I'm going to use the tea tree oil one because I looked it up and apparently tea tree oil has really good anti-inflammatory properties. And as you might have noticed, well, it's not so bad right now, but I usually get like red patches right around in here. So I'm all about those anti-redness ingredients. Ooh, juicy. These always make such a mess. <laughs> I try to like squeeze some of the product in on its way out so that it, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, all right. All right so don't squeeze so hard. There we go. It smells good. Oh, <laughs> that poor chin. <laughs> And put this on in the viewfinder. <laughs> well, that one went on pretty well. So while we wait on this, I thought it would be fun to make ourselves a green tea matcha latte. Ah, oh, my skin feels so good. Ah. Mm. Man, tea tree oil smells good. Oh my gosh, I never knew. It always like tingles my upper lip just a little. <laughs> okay, so we can take the hair down now. All right. So next step we have is actually a cult favorite, so I'm told. It is the Pixie Glow Tonic, and I got it in this itty bitty travel size bottle so that I could try it out, and I am loving it. So I mainly just put it in the areas where I have breakouts or acne scars, um, which is mainly the corners of my mouth, and right here next to my nose, and then sometimes like in between my eyebrows. For this routine, I really wanted to curate like all green products. And when I say that, I don't necessarily mean from an environmental standpoint. I mean, literally I wanted the products themselves to have like green packaging. 
um, which turned out to be a much harder ordeal than I thought it was going to be. You know how they say that red is the color that makes you the hungriest, so that's why fast food companies put it on all their packaging? Well, I think someone decided that blue is the color that makes you want to take care of your skin. Because literally, all of the skincare products out there are blue. All of them. Neutrogena, Bliss, so many others. L'Oreal, I can't even count. But I did find enough products to put together this cute little routine. Okay, now we have our eyes. As you can see, I have a bit of, there it is, purpliness, zombie eyes. That is from many, many sleepless nights in college studying for engineering exams. So, we are going to be using the, another Pixi product. It is their 24 karat eye elixir. And as you can see, it has this cool metal ball at the end that is so cooling and it feels so good against puffy eyes in the morning and at night before bed. So I'm just gonna roll some under there and up top where I get some dry flakiness. Ah, oh, that felt good. I love that stuff. It's very watery, like it d almost doesn't even feel like there's anything going onto your skin. I'm so excited about this next step. I know it's not green, but at least it's not blue. The Glossier Future Dew. I'm going to do, I think one pump. I'm trying to get that like aesthetic drip thing. Should I put it on my skin? <laughs> that feels weird. <laughs> put it on this side too. This is gonna be way too much. Let me know down below in the comments who are some like movie characters or book characters that you think would be in the Slytherin house? I'm always curious to know. I read this thing on Pinterest the other day that said Captain America actually belonged in Slytherin and I thought that was really interesting. Like they're talking about how back in the very first movie how he was like so scrappy. He did what Ever it took to get into the army and he lied on government forms he went and applied to like multiple places so I thought that was really interesting but let me know down below if you have any interesting people that you think would be in Slytherin look at that glow oh my goodness yes. <laughs> my skin literally after that face mask is so soft oh my gosh get another sip of latte mm. Mm. So the next step of our routine is actually for the hands. <laughs> if you watch Friends, you know the hands, Ross's magical hands. I'm sorry, I've been watching Friends so much during quarantine. Like, I think I'm probably on my fifth time around. Um, so pretty much every other word that comes out of my mouth is a Friends reference. But anyway, this is from Fourth Ray Beauty. It is their avocado body milk. And it is the cutest thing. It comes in this little milk carton packaging, which I shamefully will admit is like 90% of the reason I got it, but it actually smells so good. It's kind of like cucumber adjacent and it's very watery. So it actually does kind of feel like you're putting milk on your hands, um, which is an interesting feeling, but it's nice. It is definitely very moisturizing. You can get it on those patches, my poor hands. I've just been washing them and sanitizing them all the time over the last year and they're so dry. I originally wanted to do some kind of lip product as the final step in our Slytherin skincare routine. And so I got this. It is the Sun Bum Aloe Wave Cocoa Balm Moisturizing Lip Balm. And I got it because of its green packaging, but when I put it on, it smelled so bad. I could not in good conscience recommend it to anybody. So I thought I would just cut that portion of the skincare routine out. But then I found this gem. That's right. It is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not green. That totally throws off the vibe of this whole routine. But I would say to you, I found not one, but four different colors of this magical product. One of which being the apple lime flavor. And yes, it is a good old bright green. So to end our aesthetic Slytherin skincare routine, I am going to be using this Laneige Sleeping Lip Mask. It's so gooey and soft. Oh, 
Mm, it smells so good. Oh, it is such a step up from the sun bun one. <laughs> okay, that is it for our aesthetic Slytherin skincare routine. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if there's any way I can be encouraging you this week or praying for you. It continues to be a pretty crazy world out there, so there's nothing wrong with needing a little bit of support. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye!